Hey folks, and welcome to a DocuSign for Salesforce for the Bewildered. I think this is what we're going to call it. Or how the mommy integrate DocuSign. Basically, I have my mommy, the Irish mommy, on what they call with me today. Brief history of my mother, darling mother. She's not tech savvy at all. At all. Um, if you have been on Ohana Coffee in the past, you have met her. Hello, she, friends. But if you have ever heard me talk about my mother in the Salesforce space, you know she has had me rename her standard objects. Contacts is Rolodex. And we're just going to leave it there because it's cringeworthy. Yeah, no, it's not. Makes sense in my brain. Okay. Moving swiftly on. Um, so this is my mommy. She is sitting in Ireland right now. Thanks and for it's 30 degrees. It's 30 degrees in Ireland. So she's boiling. Um, they don't do air conditioning in Ireland as well. So so the aim of today's video is to have the technophobe mother integrate DocuSign into Salesforce. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the goal. So whether we'll reach the goal is a whole other story. That is also true. And I may end up with more gray hairs than I'd like to admit after this, but we're going to go. Okay. okay. So with that, I am going to pull up the mommy screen. Okay. Okay. We're good to go. Mother, if you could head over to the middle cloud tab that says home. That one. Salesforce. Yeah. Yes, that one. Yeah. It only took us five minutes before we clicked record to actually get you there. You're currently in your Salesforce org. Yay! Mm -hmm. It's your developer org for yes. now. In your quick find box on the left hand side. Okay. Scroll up. Yep. Yeah. Click into the quick find box. Keep going up. Oh, here. Click All up. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Type app exchange. And see where it says app exchange marketplace? Click sure. on that. Okay. Okay. You are now in the Salesforce App Exchange Marketplace. Type I in DocuSign. Sign. Yeah, new. <laughs> Scroll. Okay. No. Go back up. First row. Yep. Yeah. So see, it says that one. DocuSign East. Stop moving around. DocuSign e-signature for Salesforce, send, uh, sign, track, etc. That's the one you want to click on. Click on that one. This one here? That okay. one right there. Okay. So this is your app. It contains okay. everything you need. This is the latest version. So this will contain like DocuSign Gen, Negotiate, etc. The uh, the Apex Toolkit as well. So this is your all sing and all dancing app. Um, Do I get for, to keep this? You do get to keep this. Click get it now. <laughs> okay. And open login screen. And you want to install it in this org because you're already logged in in Salesforce. So install in this org. Okay. So it has all your details there. Scroll down. Tell us about yourself. Uh, are, huh. are you a Leo? Do you enjoy long walks? I'm a, Sag I'm a Sagittarian. I'm blonde. Well, we know that. <laughs> oh, so funny. Duck you. <laughs> See, I was blonde. <laughs> oh, my God. No, this Dr. is a Terry. terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. Um, um, scroll down. Sometimes the autofill is not very good. No. The mammy. Phone. Mind your own business. Uh, job title. A boss. You don't look like Bruce Springsteen to me. I'm the female version. Uh, country Ireland. You don't even know how to play the guitar. I do too. I know three chords on the guitar. Okay, we're going with that. Click I have read terms and conditions. Uh, okay. And confirm <laughs> and install. You've just basically signed away your firstborn child. <laughs> Can't believe that's not me. 
Am I an admin? You need to install for all users. You are an admin mother, but you're installing for all users so that if you bring anyone else into your org, you're not having to update everything for them. This does it for you at the very beginning. My, my org makes me sound like Google or something, doesn't it? So do I click install now? Yes. Is there any fine print that I have to read? As I said, you already signed away your firstborn, so you're good. And you no. want to continue. I should also point out to anyone watching this video, my mother is very security conscious. Well, one has to be. She calls me to order her stuff online because she doesn't care if I get identity theft. That's okay. You can deal with it. I can't. Okay. This part takes a few minutes. It's installing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your app has installed into yeah. your Salesforce org. So click in your home tab right oh, beside it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And see your little a uh, square box on the left hand side it's it's the dots yeah yep that's the app launcher so click on that okay and type in docusign okay oh i forgot hang on we'll do it right okay hang i still on. think that should be a dog okay you're in the docusign app launcher thinking about it it is thinking about it see told you it's doing the washer right. now <laughs> Yay! Go us! Yay! Go us! Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is click on it. Scroll down a little for me. And because you're installing this in a developer org, mm -hmm. a Salesforce developer org, and you're installing this uh, using a developer DocuSign account, you're going to click yeah. advanced options. Because I'm advanced. We're going to go with that. Now yep. click here and see where it says DocuSign demo. You want to click log into demo account. Okay. This is something that people have a lot of problems with usually uh, because Why? they click log in. They click log in at the very uh, top. They automatically, yeah, they go in for it, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to click continue because okay. it remembers you. Oh, I wouldn't just. You're very memorable. <laughs> we'll go with oh. that. Yes. And then you're going to accept. And I never accept until I've read what I'm accepting. Yes, dear. Why am I sending envelopes? That's exactly what DocuSign does. All right, Jay, that's right. I forgot. <coughs> Understand the product you've purchased and activate new products on your behalf. Okay, I'll, I can go with that. Yeah. So in the DocuSign world, an envelope is exactly like you, what you get in snail mail. Okay. Will I log in? Yes. Will I remember me? Uh, hopefully you'll remember yourself. Who am I again? Check your underwear. I'm sure you have your name on it. <laughs> okay. uh, scroll so down. To... You don't need to register your mobile. Uh, and you click, I don't want to register my phone. Okay. Why don't I want to register my phone? Because you don't want people calling you all the time. Well, you never know. And then click next because it's already connecting your account and your Salesforce, your DocuSign account and Salesforce. Okay. And allow access. Okay, cool. So what you've done there is you've connected your DocuSign account and your Salesforce account, and you're allowing okay. access, which means you're allowing them to talk to each other. I hope they become very good friends. Oh, we go together like PB and J. And I and don't like PB and J. I've never had one. I tried one, but I didn't like it. Okay, so allow. No, allow. Okay. Yeah, because it's accessing basic information um, on your Salesforce account and your DocuSign account, and log in again. And okay. Basically, Basically, what that means is when you click send an envelope to someone, it's going to say, oh, Marion wants to send this envelope. Um, so okay. it's not coming from, I have no identity at whatever. Okay. And that's Will it. I send you some, will I send you something for the crack? Sure. Let's go and configure. Uh, uh, E-signature. Okay. Now let's configure that. You can be the video for me, okay? Tell me what it says. Create the template. Okay. Name. And hello world. Okay. Yeah. Click contact because you want to send me something directly. Okay. Next. So usually you put it on a contact for like a non-disclosure agreement. And you can do, you can assign anything to any particular object. Um, object is your, your individual tab. So like your Rolodex. Uh, in your <laughs> in your Salesforce uh, org. Okay, so you have that configured. 
But right. just because you have it configured doesn't mean that's it. So right. you need to go in to DocuSign Envelope Templates. Where's that? Oh, so, uh, there. Yes. Yeah, there. Okay. I never seem to read the top ones for some reason. I, I always kind of go left and right. Yo, okay. world. So this is your template that you're going to send. So see the yeah. arrow over on the right hand side? Yeah. Nope. Underneath that one. Yeah. Edit. So click that. And click edit. Oh, it's kind of like your drafts box in your in your emails. Mm hmm. OK, and it's doing the washing again. <laughs> that's what my washing machine looks like. If only you would do my washing for me. No, that's what Ben's are for. No, I do all the washing in the house. Five kids, two adults. Two dogs and a cat. Yeah. Right. So this page loads up for you, and you want to drag and drop and upload a template. So if you want to go into Word on your desktop. So you've opened up Word on your laptop. Yeah. Uh, this is like your template. This is like whatever you want to say to people. So. This is your <laughs> non-disclosure. <laughs> so full disclosure to anyone watching this, my mother was warned not to say embarrassing things about me. Okay, so you've saved your, save your template on your desktop. File, save as. Awesome. Now go back into Salesforce. Uh, okay, so now I need to upload the document. Yes? Yes! Well done, you! Uh, dear dear child, child letter. Boom. And done. Now, there should be... Okay, so you've got your template in. Yeah. Click next. Scroll up. Oh, yeah. Click add recipients. Okay. Uh, here. Yep. Right there. Okay. And then because you've no contacts in your org, because it's a dev org right now, we're just going to send the, this email template to your email address. Okay. So okay. you're going to see where it says record fields. That's the fields that are already on your object or on your contact record. Okay. So we're going to go over, see where it says select record field. Here. In the, yep. And underneath right. that, just click in the search. And do owner, O W N E R. Okay. Scroll okay. down a little. Yeah, well, scroll down a little. You, you'll see it pops up for you. And okay. click on that. Yep. Okay. So, and it's going to be need to sign. So, if you click on the arrow below that, it will tell you different types of actions. Sometimes it's need oh, to sign. To be yeah. So, if you just need to send something to someone, if someone is new to the org, you can you can set it up that way where they just get a copy of something but okay. because we are going to make you sign something as well you're going to click add underneath yep here nope. not, add, not add new add oh, here. Yep. okay yep. and that's it so the record owner aka you will get uh -huh. an email uh -huh. basically asking you to sign this so uh -huh. scroll up and click next Okay. Usually, if you were sending this, but because we don't have any contacts in here because it's a demo org, mm -hmm. usually we will have different fields to add in. Because you, this is a demo org and you have absolutely nothing in there right now, we haven't even renamed your standard objects to your crazy names that you want. We're just going to not touch merge fields. It's a little too complex for you right now, Mom. Ah, uh, Lauren. Next video. Next video. Okay. Yeah, um, you can teach me all that then. Sure, we'll do that. Like, okay. Will I will I click out that one? Yeah, you can cancel out of this one. Okay. No. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can cancel out of this. Oh, okay. Because we're not going to put any merge fields in for now, because you've no data in there to pull in. That's next lesson. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to click next. Okay. And next. We are, this is usually where you'll place fields or oh. and here is your template. Oh, that's real cool, isn't it? Um, so see here where it says signature, 
over by standard fields. There. These are just uh, yeah. These are what's already loaded in there by DocuSign. So you want to mm -hmm. drag and drop. Mm -hmm. So drag your signature above where you wrote wrote mommy. Yeah. Move it up a little or else I won't be able to see who it is. Yep. Right there. Perfect. Do you want to add a date? Yes. For posterity. Date signed. Yeah. So date signed. Yeah. And drag and drop. Bring it over. Yep. Do you want, do you want me to put it any specific place? Wherever you would like. Keep it clean. This is this is like mummy proof, okay? Yeah. So it's it's literally drag and drop. You don't have to do anything okay. else. If I you can scroll do that. down, yep, I know. Scroll down, and then you can do like your name and email and company and title. You can do text. You can do checkbox. You can do all that kind of stuff in. Wow, DocuSign. that is cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so because we're just like doing. That. Yeah, because we're just doing the the standard Basics. Mammy 101. Mm -hmm. Um you're good to go. So click save and close. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So yeah. I personally think DocuSign put this in because they work with me. This is what we fondly refer to as the nag button. So this is where you can remind people when <laughs> yeah so uh for now we are not going to do it do not remind but you can set whatever time you want on there same with expiration so if well you're going to get the notification so off you go scroll down when do you want your your envelope or your document to expire so if it's a time limited 30 days okay sending experience scroll down you're going to click quick send what's the difference Default brings it brings the user through how to um, like they get to select certain things. Oh Very no, that's like, what I have, that's what I have a Lauren for. That's okay. Okay, quick send means you just click a button. Yeah, you don't need to update any fields. Scroll down until next scrolling. time. Right back. You're not doing any right backs, so you're good. Um, right backs is when you update something in the document and it comes back into. All right. Okay. Yeah. That, that we're just going to put a pin in that for another time. Yeah. Scroll scroll back up. You do a whole series of this. You could teach me the, all the ins and outs of this. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Click save and close up on the right hand. Yep. And then you're on to a custom button. Okay. This is where you make a custom button for your page. Don't worry. Well, you don't have to code. I still think it should be a dog. If I had a penny for every time you said that today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is your custom button. Usually you'd have to code this, but we've made it again, mommy proof. So well, that was very kind of everybody. They're very considerate like that. They are. Um, your button label is automatically loaded in, um, mm -hmm. based on your template name. You can mm -hmm. change it if you want. You don't have to, but for now we're going to just keep it as your world, so we know which button to look for. Yeah, And then it's, it's going to ask you where you want to put that button, what pages you want to put that button on Salesforce. Okay. So I usually click all of them because this is a demo account and you might have to go in and play as a salesperson. Sometimes you might have to be a support person, some marketing. So because you're the admin of your org, mm -hmm. um, click beside page layouts. There's a little box. Click that. Yep. Scroll back up. I'm a genius. You really are. Yep. I'll keep you. And click save and finish. Thanks. Okay. Done. Okay. Now let's go back into your apps. Launcher. I didn't touch it, I swear. <laughs> so it's you know what? that's tormenting me now. Because it knows it should be a dog. I'm gonna get a plushie off the goat and send it to you. Um <laughs> So see your apps launcher. So the, the nine dots up on the top left hand corner. Yeah. Click that's what on that's that. Called. It's apps launcher. Oh, okay. Yep. And we're going to just pretend you're a service person. So click into service. Okay. 
And the way we have it set up, because we didn't get too complex with you today, you're going to click on contacts. Yeah, contacts. And you're recently viewed. So you're going to click in that arrow. Yeah. And let's just put uh, all contacts because there's not many in this org. So you'll be fine. Well, there's only one in this org at the minute. No, oh, no, there's, there's not. A few. There's a few. So pick a name that you like, any name. OK. I like Jack. OK. No, don't click the click on Jack's actual name. Nope. Yep, right there. Click on that. And it brings you into his contact record or a Rolodex file in your case. Yes. Okay. So because of the way we have this set up, when you click that template button, it's going to send to you because you're the contact owner. And okay. that's just the way we have it set up. Okay. If we set it up differently, um, because this is obviously a dummy email address, but if we had an actual valid email address in there, you could send it to the actual contact. We have it where it's gonna to send to you so you can see what your people are gonna get. Okay. So click, see up the top where you have Mr. Jack Rogers, and then you have over on the right-hand side, you've got follow, and you've got your world. That's yeah. the button you just created. Cool, I'm a genius. So click that button in the washroom. That's in the dryer now. See, it's in the dryer. It's in the dryer. You don't have a dryer. Okay. I know. Okay. So it's going to say the recipient is your email address, the owner, and uh -huh. the action is need to sign. Uh -huh. You can add. You can add in. Scroll down. See where it says message to recipients. Click yeah. on that. You can scroll down again. You uh -huh. can customize this. You can make it whatever you want. I tend to right. because again it's a dummy account. Oh, you're gonna we're customizing it. Okay. You know, I got flashbacks to clean your room or else. <laughs> okay. And then you like can take on more options. Yeah, let's see what else we can do. You can do reminders. So you've already set them up, but if yeah. you decide to change them or if someone is sending this that's not you, um, they can change these. Okay. okay? Envelope expires after 30 days and click. You're okay with that? Oh, All yeah. you have to do is click, click send up on the right hand corner. Here now? Yeah. Wow. And it's sent. Okay. Wow. Now go into your Gmail account. God, it's easy, really, isn't it? If you can do it, anyone can do it. I can do it. Anyone can do it. Uh, click on your inbox. So click on the very top one, yeah, and scroll down. And now you can review your document. This is what the people you send your template receive, OK? OK. So click Continue. Yep. And you'll see up the top, scroll up a little. You've got your DocuSign envelope ID. Every single envelope ID is different. Oh, there. All right. OK, yeah. And yeah. unique. Um, this is the message you sent. Obviously, if this yeah. was a contract or a non-disclosure, it'd be slightly different than you threatening me. Um, uh -huh. And then you can click sign. So so if I click on that, then what happens? There you go. You can change your name as well. Where did that come from? The DocuSign software. Did you sign that? No, I did not. You haven't signed it yet. Oh, OK. All right. So if you want to change the name, so at the moment, because it's sent to the mommy vid, you can change your name. Obviously, it has to be a legal name. Um, yes. And say your, see your initials over on the right hand side. Yeah. Change that to M. Um, and then you can select your style. So if you click change style on the left hand side. Or sorry, the right hand side. Oh, the right hand side. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Click on change style. You can adopt different signatures. So it's not your real signature. It's not your real signature. Although you can upload your real signature if you want. I like that one. Okay. Yeah. I tend to adopt one that looks a little bit like my handwriting. Yeah, ten times better. 
that looks a bit like mine, except mine is yep. better. Well, oh, well, my sorry, handwriting. Sorry, DocuSign. <laughs> my handwriting is chicken scratch. So, and then you're going to adopt and sign your contract or your non disclosure or whatever. Or whatever, yeah. And you can see here your signature has an I, a reference. Oh, another ID. It. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's all legal. I always wondered how that um, worked. Yep. That's and now how I know. It, it's the DocuSign software. Cool. And then click finish. Boom. That is good. That's mm -hmm. actually good. I know. What well, seriously, what do you think I do all day? Well, annoy me for starters. Send you memes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So this will load and I'm gonna show you something super cool. Because you super signed cool. it, super, super cool. cool. It needs a key. It's that cool. Okay. So uh -huh. click click back into Jack Rogers tab up the top. Where? Oh him, yeah. In your browser. <laughs> Refresh your page. That's annoying me now. I'll put a picture of Riley in there for you. Do. Okay. Scroll down. See your notes and attachments. Yeah. Click it. Oh wow! I did. And that. there's your. Yep, that's your signed letter in your Salesforce record, all neat and tidy, filed in a filing cabinet. Filed in a filing cabinet. Yes. And there you go. Uh, so, Mooder, Mother, Darling, you integrated DocuSign into Salesforce. I did. Oh, even better. So, you downloaded the DocuSign eSignature for Salesforce app off the App Exchange. You integrated it into Salesforce. I did. You created an envelope template. I did. You created a custom button. I did. You put the custom button on the page. I did. You sent a document for signing. I did. You signed that document. I did. And you saw that document come back in into the Salesforce record. I did. <sighs> you tired now, Lauren? <laughs> I need a nap, but it's only 10 30. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone can if you can do it, anyone can do it. If the mammy can do it, anybody can do it. Yes. Okay. Well, with that, thank you so much for testing my patience. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> the next video i'll have you on i'll teach you merge fields oh no that's complicated i'm gonna block off like the whole day you do you need to do that yeah and yeah, have yeah. strong coffee to hand yeah coffee we're gonna go with that yeah mm. and i'll have plenty of water okay thank you so much for doing this my pleasure the things you do for your children that's your birthday present by the way <laughs> yeah that was some fine print you didn't tell me about yeah well there you go that's fine. There's always a catch. There is, there is. But with that, thank you so much. No props. Talk to you soon. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the next installment of me teaching my mother DocuSign, don't forget to subscribe and send me help. See you the next time.